Good afternoon, welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday the 23rd of December. In John chapter 13, Jesus is at the Last Supper with his friends. Passover is upon them, he has a meal set up. Um, and then in verse 3 I read, Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he has this clear identity of who he is and his power. And in human terms, when somebody in that position of authority would therefore exhort his disciples and arrange things and get people to do stuff, you have authority, you use that authority to, to run things. So he has this authority from God. Everything's under his power. So, verse 4, so he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that is wrapped around his waist. Completely the opposite of what, what one would expect from somebody in a position of power and authority. And time and again, Jesus um, wrongfoots us. We expect, humanly, we'd expect one thing, and he does completely the opposite. We saw that two days ago where it talks about he loves, uh, loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And so when Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was and waited two days to go. Here again, here he is in power, so he washes the disciples' feet. And a couple of things for me come out of this. The one is we, we must almost expect God to do the unexpected because he's not going to do things the way we would. His ways are not our ways. Scripture's clear. Um, uh, his intentions are always good, but it doesn't always work the way we'd, we'd assume. It doesn't always fit the, the, the paradigm that we have. So God will often do things completely differently to what we expect, as he did here. I'm sure it was the last thing the disciples expected. They probably were nudging one another. You've got to wash the feet. You're the youngest. You're the old. You you joined us last. You're whatever. And then Jesus gets up and does it completely. Takes them by surprise. Um, and we must uh, expect God to surprise us. Uh, the second thing is that we must also let God guide us so that we are shaped by him and not by the world. And the fact that the world expects us to behave in certain ways, to do certain things, to hold certain values, to walk in the paths of the world, um, we must be prepared to step out of that um, and let God guide us and our behavior and our attitudes and our actions. And we will be different. If we're just the same as the world, we have nothing to offer them. If we're walking with Jesus and we live differently, like he did, we have good news for the world. So be prepared to be different in the way Jesus was. Be prepared to take people by surprise when you do things that they don't expect because that's what God would have us do. And be prepared to have God do that with you as well. Uh, know that God is like that and be blessed.